Spotify, wherever you're hearing us or watching us from. This is the Sweet Action Podcast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the Sweet Action Podcast. If you're a new or return review, we appreciate you guys for coming kicking with the best crew as always. You got myself, Carlos. Next to me, you got the homegirl, Kelsey. Hi. Across from me, I got the homie, George. And in front of me, you guys love him. You guys hate him. It's the homie, John. But guys, come on. As always, we got the best team, the best friends, holding it down, doing their magic. It's the homie Key and the homie Xavier. Shout out to them. So guys, thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you're a new viewer, we appreciate you. You know, we really do. It's always good having new people come in, especially these last couple months. We've gotten a lot of new faces, new new friends that we a like. A lot of love, call. too. Thank you, love. Love. thank you. Thank you. So we appreciate you guys. Like I said, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Stick around. Enjoy the show. Grab a snack. Grab your bitch. Grab whatever you need. And let's get this shit. Or your mom. <laughs> or your mom. Or your mom. Yeah. Or your girlfriend. <laughs> but guys, as always, man, it's shout out to Lumani. Uh, we had a great episode a great with her. Episode. Gracias, yeah. gracias. I really enjoyed yes, her. Thank so you. Much. Uh, make sure you guys go check that out. It was last week's episode. Lumani, thank you. We appreciate you. And make sure you guys just go fuck with her. Hella cool person. Past Dina made. So like we said in the episode, trying to get Dina out LA shadow. So without further ado, guys, let's jump straight to this fucking podcast. And today we got a juicy one, a very juicy one that I'm actually very excited to hear some opinions, <laughs> some some uh, some thoughts and ideas, and see where we're all like where our mentality lands. Because I think yeah. this is gonna really put us in different levels, possibly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. So as John already hinted at the beginning, you know, Kelsey, John, and George, everybody was hinting at, hey, the mommy versus girlfriend episode. Why you gotta <laughs> say mommy? Just <laughs> say mom. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> so guys. Something very common, very controversial, and I think maybe you guys comment down below what you guys think, you know, on these questions and topics that we're going to go into. Team mom, team girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. as simple as it is. Team mom or team girlfriend? Team my bitch. I'm, I'm already <laughs> team way. mom without going further ado, bro. Team Shut mom? Up. Team mom. Really? Nah. I don't know. So, to not even waste no one's time, let's go straight into it. To make it simple, in this scenario, whether you're a girl, you know, a man, you have a partner, so your boyfriend or your girlfriend. And to start it off, should you stand up to your mom um, if she is always being disrespectful to your girlfriend? So in other words, should you stand up and say some shit? Or are you going to be a little bitch and have your girlfriend slash your partner be like, yo, why are you being a bitch? Yeah, I, I would. <laughs> it's a given, bro. Yeah. I think it's a given. So you're standing up to your girl, to your mom. To my mom, right? hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. If she decides to talk if shit. she's ab- dissing on the set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If she's dissing on the set. If, hell yeah, best believe. If she's dissing on my ride or die, dog. Wait, yeah. but then what does that make your mom? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm is trying she to your say. Ride or, your, is she your ride or die? My boy, she's to my mom, bro. So how I did you pick her? Damn. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Nah, no, no, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Nah, don't get me wrong. I, I love my mom. Hero. <laughs> get nah, on his ass. Yeah, like I, I love my mom, you know, with all my heart. But at the same time, there has to be the same level of respect, mm. you know, towards Both each other. Ways, you know, just as much as I wouldn't let her disrespect my mom, mm. I wouldn't let my mom disrespect her just as much, you know. And then would you say, um, would you say it's easy to step up to one or the other, like in this scenario? Ah, let's say, that's a very is good it question. Ah. Hard to step up to your mom. Do you think uh, she'll even take your opinion into consideration? What if she thinks she's the girlfriend's overreacting? Ooh. Ooh. I think it. Like, what would you do in that situation? I think. I think for me personally, being the mandilone that I am, <laughs> I think it'll be easier Jeez, for me. God. It'll it'll be easier for me to step to my mom just because even earlier today, just before she was I talking got shit. here, I was talking shit. I always tell my mom. Uh, I'm like, bro, go fucking shower. You stink. Jeez. Even though she doesn't, bro. And I'm like, I haven't even like fucking like got a whiff for her. <laughs> but oh, I always tell her that. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, but overall, like I always talk shit to her. Obviously in a joking manner. I'm never like fucking serious. Mm. So just the relationship that I have, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe like actually being serious about mm. something. It's kind of like, ooh, you know, because it's I'm harder kind of joking around with her, you know. Yeah, I definitely think it's harder to step up. In my opinion, I don't know. I, I, on my end, I would be. It would be tough for me to speak up to my mom because I hold, I hold my mom at a very like Fact. high level. So yeah. for me to like, I could speak up to her, and I've done mm-hmm. it. But like for me to go up to her and be like, "Yo, better shut your mouth," you know, before I hit you with the one two, you know, for disrespecting my girl, it's like it's a little risky for me. 
But then I feel like in my end, like, you know, uh-huh. uh, my partner in that sense, like, I feel like it'd be easier for me to really just stand up. To your partner. You know, to your pa- oh, for sure, for sure. Be the man. Yeah, I think it'd be easier I mean? to stand up to your partner in hmm. any situation. Not for that. Yeah. Puzzle. No, no, no. <laughs> no I, I could stand up to my mom very easily just because, yeah, just the relationship that I have with my mom. I think I got my answer so fucking confused right now on what I was saying. Yeah, pretty much I could just step up to my, to summarize what I was saying. I could step up to my mom very easily. Would it be easier? Because I always kind of punk on her. All right, so. I mean, I punk on Kelsey too, but I mean. Okay. Yeah. Yo, Mandy Lone, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mandy Lone activities, you know? Okay, and then overall, so what's the final answer on this one? I'll step up to my mom. Ah. Uh, easily. Hands if you had down. Choose, I think it would have to depend on what they're fighting it, about, just bro. Just in general, same shit. Like, no, they just talking shit, say, bro. Yeah. And they just like, yo, f- I don't fucking like your girlfriend, bro. She a fucking bum. Ah. Yeah, if my, if, yeah, if, my mom says that, I'll step up then, to her. And then vice versa. If your girl's like, to be honest, babe, your mom is a fucking bitch. If like, she's, she's just, just a girlfriend, like, if she's yeah, a girlfriend. She is a bitch. You know, <laughs> I'll agree with her. If she's a girlfriend, then it's I'm team mom. All team the way, mom, bro. Team yeah, mom. don't be talking to my mom like that. Yeah. Like, it comes down to the scenario. Because you, know really you got to be yeah. honest. You got to be honest. Be like, oh, but just two seconds ago, don't worry about the bucket scenario. Just no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I get to finish. Like it comes down to scenario on what her words are. Of course, you know what I'm saying. Like if what her words says. are are like them, just fighting words. Yeah, she's her, being you know disrespectful to your mom. Then you know. Yeah, but if anybody's being disrespectful to anybody, I'm like, yo, using hey, words hey, that hey, don't need to be you? used. Mm, yeah. Right. So then, with that in the sense of like the mom and your girlfriend biting, fighting, whatever. What do you do in the scenario where, like, what happens if your mom doesn't like your girlfriend? Just don't bring them around each other. Oh, yeah, that simple as that. <laughs> oh, that was suck yeah. for me. It's, I mean, I'm a really? very. Yeah. I'm a You're very, just not gonna bring them around at yeah, all. I'm a very. I'm, I'm, if, down, like, I'm not gonna down. force them to be with each other. You yeah, no, nah, like I'm not. So I'm not with that. Parties, you're not gonna bring your girlfriend around or what? See, I'm a family. You stay home with the kids, guy. Bro. No, but nah. this is your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Mother guy, True. Kids ready. True. You know what? Uh, I, I would bring them around, but as long as it's just mutual, hi, bye, that's they're it. Respectful. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, just respectful, that's it. So I would still bring my girlfriend around, but I I, I think I'll have to feel out if my mom's like, okay, I don't want if, this bitch around. But then, if you, oh, what if your mom is talking shit like to all the family members? That's it what I was about to say. That's what I was about to say. Or your girlfriend. Like, well, it hasn't gone to your girlfriend yet, but it's gone to you. Yeah, and if your family I, I, feels I, I, the like same way? Yeah, like... Oh, then yeah, of course I'm not bringing her. Yeah, 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 of course. But would you break I, up with her? Nah. No. Nah. Yeah, because if I bring my girlfriend to the party, that's um, that's really that's really disrespectful that's to her. That's buzz killer. Yeah, but that's really tell disrespectful your girlfriend to her. Too? I'll be straight up. I think she I'll would I'll be like, bro. My fam don't fuck my with you. My mama don't like you. My yeah. mama don't like you. Simple. Straight up. Yeah. I'll tell my girlfriend. Or would you Or would you guys hide it? I, yeah, I don't know. That, that I'm, really um, depends. I don't think I'd hide it. I'd be straight up, hey, they don't like you. Don't fuck with you. They See, don't fuck with you like so that. so fucking tough, bro, because I feel like I'm a big believer on, like, you can try to make things work. You know what I'm saying? You and can, I, and eventually. I, like, like I, I, I believe I'm a big too. family type of guy, so it's like, for me, like, you know, my family's my, my family's yeah, important. So it's like I that's thought one, I was once too. <laughs> so it's like, for me, it's like, I would be like, I would need both of my worlds to collide. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then it's like if they don't like each other, I'm not saying how force and be like better like each other, but it's like, you know, talk it out. So or like, do you break up with your girlfriend if they don't? Like if they told, if your if your mom, if told, your mom you told you like, you. hey, yeah. break up with her. You want to know the truth? Yeah, I would actually think about it because the I'm fact a, this motherfucker consider it because, <laughs> because no, it's I'm true. Gonna, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. Mama knows best, bro. And at least in my experience, my mom has called every single thing in my life to the fucking dot. Uh, my mom's that girl, that girl's not gonna be good for you. I promise you. I'm like, nah, you tripping. A year later, <laughs> 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 or like, to the or like, or like, look, like you have a great friend here. Don't throw it away here. Or this and that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Et cetera. And this happened my whole entire life. So, to my experience, it's a 50 50 where I at least have to consider it. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I don't really think I'd instantly be like, nah, I'm gonna break. Yeah, I'm gonna break up with her. Yeah. I'd be like, damn, she might be seeing something that I'm not because. Love when makes love, love, love makes, makes people go blind. blind. See, I agree, but the thing about my mom is that she overreacts, bro. She puts too much like salsa to the tacos, you know? Like she <laughs> like she be capping sometimes. I'm like, bro, she all right, overcooks. Bro, like, overcooks, bro. Yeah, my mom, I <laughs> feel she, like she, she burns that shit. So yeah, it's like Jesus. Yeah, my mom, I feel like she could be the same way. There's times where she can she can play that part of like she knows what she's talking about. There's times like 
You're just jealous, bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not that, Mama. Heroes, bro. No, 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 no kidding. We gotta bring John's mom at work. We gotta, we gotta. Oh my god, my mom is so fucking ghetto. I would not want her on here. She is so like. <laughs> I love stuck. Lena. I hate the way she fucking talks, bro. <laughs> She's funny. Instead uh, of a mug here, it's a fucking a modelo. Geez. You know, it's like, bro, hey, love like, to Mama Kiro, bro. Nah, bro, love like keep that shit at home, bro. No, definitely. Um, dude, order though. I mean, relationships like it just comes down, bro, because I got you gotta look at the scenario you put in. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um for like for some people, like maybe that girlfriend's all they have. You know what I'm saying? And that's mm. why they, they wouldn't want to lose true, her. True, true, true. And then, you know, sometimes it's like you can't have it's too good to have everything, you know what I'm saying? I guess like in my situation, me and John's situation, my parents don't really like John, I guess you could say. And I don't like them. No, and that's okay. Because <laughs> they don't have to like each other. They're, yeah. we're not, they're not dating. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We got to clarify for the people. <laughs> they don't fuck they with, don't each, like with each other. Yeah. They don't no, fuck they with don't, each yeah, other. They don't need to know that. They don't need to know the deep into the it. nitty gritty. All, all nitty I want to say is I'm not in the wrong, folks. I may be. You're not the problem. Uh, You're not the problem. Is that what you're say? Is, is, it, well, is it like what look, you've told us before? Yeah, it, look. It could be. It could be a lot of things. I don't know. True, but true. They don't, that's true. What I'm saying. One another thing that my family has a very big problem with is that they don't talk. They'll keep their feelings to themselves. Mm. And how am I supposed to read their minds and be like, facts, oh, facts. you don't like it because of this and this and this. Then I could be like, okay, it's a valid, you know. Yeah. They, but, so they've never been straight up like, yo, like, no, I don't like this about you. Up, but, but, <laughs> well, just one person probably. Oh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> shut <Jim>. up. <laughs> but, you know. You know what? You know what I stay at? You know what I stay I'm two blocks down, baby. <laughs> no. He said, pull up. Hey, <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Silver Integra outside all the Dude. time, baby. Oh all I gosh. gotta say. Anyways, yeah. So only Bro, one person sorry. has been pretty honest with me, but others, with their actions, they definitely show that they don't like him, and that's okay. They're not dating him. I am. So then, do you fort? I don't. I mean, I know you don't force it, but do you like that's, try to? Oh, I, I'm Santa Cruz most hated, man. <laughs> I got fans, bro. That's a, solid, <laughs> that's a solid point to put in that way, though. Like, you gotta look at it like. You shouldn't care what, because I'm a you big believer care, in. But in also a the experiences that me mm. and John have gone through, we're almost five years at this point. Fucking tight, son. Where <laughs> we've talked about everything in our past, in our lives, and everything mm. that we go through. So, uh, <laughs> my parents, I don't tell them everything because mm. you know they don't need to know that if it's not like a life or death situation. Mm. So also that could be another thing that they don't know, which could harm John's, you know, reputation in a way. Cause they don't know what I've gone through with him and mm. everything, you know, the oh. love that I wanted from my family and everything and the love that I accept from John. Yeah. My, my, <laughs> the, <laughs> the dynamic that Kelsey's family has and my family has are like two, it's like fucking night and day difference. Mm. Like my family, they're very like, they'll show their love right off the bat. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. they're very welcoming. You know, and with Kelsey's, it was very much of like you have to, you have to earn it. Mm. And even then, if you already start off wrong, like yeah, but you ain't gonna get it. I was like, damn, yeah, bitch, yeah. not you to know? turn this into my 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 episode or something. Yeah, yeah, but just to <laughs> but clarify just to a few put things, that you know, out there, just, you know, I have look. first ex hand experience. So, with yeah. this quick type question: of So, you know how usually when when people get married, the guy usually always tells go ask the they ask the parents or permission. the dad for permission. Do you think? You will still do that? You would still want to do that? Or it's just to the point where it's like, like it's just me and Kelsey, bro. Like, it's like and and me and Kelsey have talked about this before. Whatever your dad says, I'm not gonna take it into consideration. If he says no, the fuck am I gonna do? For but you're like, saying you're still you're still like asking. The fuck? I'm not asking another dad for fucking permission. You're not my dad, so I don't care. <laughs> as simple as that. But because point. I'm marrying the daughter, not you know, and uh -huh. I get, yeah, I'm marrying into the family, but that's not going to stop me from pursuing the rest of my life with Kelsey. Just because he doesn't agree with me or he has a picture painted and he didn't make the effort to try to see it, try to see me in a different light. At that point, bro, I, I can't do anything. It, it is, is what, what it is. It is at that point, And I know that, it is what it is. that my family has us and that's all that matters to me. You know what I mean? If they don't, my family does. That's all cool. And that's all I need. You know what I mean? And like I told Kelsey, if you want me to, by all means, I'll go ahead and I'll do it. 
you know, I'll go ahead and ask, but straight off the bat, I won't, you know. But that's just to <laughs> close that off. Yeah, that's to close that off. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Don't cry. Wait, really? I'm not following We're here for you, bro. We're here for you. It should be hey, I don't mean here. nothing to me, dog. You know, man, I'm, hey, dog. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> hey, sweet action therapy, man. You can, con- you can contact yeah. us. We'll, we'll have a little. The ring our lineup. We're dog, all yeah. professionals. We even have fucking phone lines tapped in, dog. You can call. You can call. <laughs> call the hotline. Yeah. We'll set up a hotline for us. Yeah. Sir. Typically, call like at Tuesday around like 8.30 ish. So, we'll probably so, be. We'll pick, <laughs> we'll pick up. Yeah. So, moving on with that, um, would you say in that scenario now, what happens when you are the you're the father in that scenario? If I'm the dad? Not, not like in your scenario, but like you're older, you have a girl, and then you don't fuck with her, her boyfriend. Because that's what I'm doing. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, so that's what I was trying to lead to is in saying that when Kelsey mentioned this key where she was like, at the end of the day in, in the relationship, I'm dating that person. Mm-hmm. Not my family's not dating them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So are you gonna be Yeah, like I have a daughter and uh-huh. the, yeah, and I'm pretty much in her dad's position. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. Girl, where you really don't like I'm not saying he really, really fucking hates know. you. <laughs> well, I, we don't know. We don't know. But it's up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> but let's say you really don't fuck with that dude, bro. Like your daughter's boyfriend. Just because you can tell I, her, yo, break up with that fucking mandilon. Nah, because <laughs> the the way I I would take it as a dad, and the way I already see it as mm-hmm. now, keep it formal. And that's it. No funny. Whatever business, happens no. is between him and my daughter. As long as it doesn't get to a point where he's abusive or fucking does anything to mm. hurt her, it's not my place. That's her life. Her but choice. hurt her in what way? Because he physically. Emotionally and like, yeah. That's I see John as that one father's like, have her home by eight, not eight oh one, not eight oh two. Nah, 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 nah. Because <laughs> I know the freedom that I would have wanted, as, or mm. the, the the freedom that I had as a kid, you know, or as a kid growing up, I should I'm say. Just always think about that scenario. Yeah. Do you want your yeah. you want your daughter to go through what we go through, what we through. went through with the girls. Dog, at the end of the day, I can't always be there. Her <laughs> decisions are on her. You gotta I can't. It is what it is, bro. You know, you gotta live and yeah. learn. That's really what exactly. it is. Exactly. So Motherfuckers just, gotta fall on their ass just to learn. Not to I don't know, bro. So you say freedom's the weight on this? Freedom. Freedom. Like, I would say, giving, like, I'd give my advice. Giving your daughter I'd freedom. Give, I'd give my two cents, but I wouldn't be like, would, you gotta break up with that facts. person. Like, I would try to get to know the dude. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah, if yeah, I yeah. really like don't think, like, I'm gonna communicate with them. I'm gonna tell her, yo, these are my reasons why. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, like John said, I can't control you. I'm not going to always be there. Would you say there's an age, though? Like, if she's under 18, you can kind of control it. I don't want you seeing this man or this boy. I'm sorry. Uh, It's because I could say yes, but they'll always find a way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they'll always find a way. If they say no, that's more of a chance. Like, what do they say? They make uh, the sneaky kids. No, straight straight parents make the sneakiest kids, right? Or some shit. Yeah, yeah, they I make, think yeah, like the, they strictest, the, yeah, yeah they, the strictest parents make the uh, sneakiest kids. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's why for me it's like I would much rather have more of that trust with that my open kid. communication. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to like have yo, with them. if you want to tell me, you tell me. If you don't, bow me. They're like hey, that's on you. At the end of the day, your mm-hmm. decisions are on you. What about you? Know? you? And no, uh, and what's there? Would I would I be strict the with same? my daughter? Yeah. The same. Like yeah, if you didn't same. like if you didn't like you the homie. The homie, yeah. If you didn't like the homie. Yeah, I. I have a 50 50 on it. Like, I'm a big believer in also in the freedom scenario, right? Like, mm-hmm. of course. And well, I'm f- a family guy. <laughs> <laughs> Familia. Familia. <laughs> Dom Toretto, baby. Yeah. So it's like, that's the Peter's thing, though. Regal, shout out. That's, that's the thing, though. <laughs> nice play. I don't want to say I'd be super strict in that sense, but I definitely do feel like, quote me on this or make fun of me on this, but as a man of the house, you got to put your foot down. You know what I'm saying? That's how I see it. You <laughs> got to. <laughs> Not like, not like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm not going to tell you cannot talk to this person, but it's like, if I, if the kid she brings home for the first time is a fucking bum, bro. And you know what I'm <laughs> You fucking, can tell. You know what you a can bum tell is, bro. Like, yeah. Like, it's a no sour kid. It's a fucking. You're describing me to fucking Kelsey's dad, bro. A bum and she pulls up no with John. Kid. And she pulls up with John. Fucking fat. <laughs> Glasses. No, yeah, no. dorky. I don't care about, I don't care care about their, their physicality, like, looks, because at the end of the day, I'm not fucking that kid. So then, how, how would. What, would you, what are you basing? What are you basing, like, that he, thought with? People's um, what do you character? call it? character? The way uh, they speak, the way they speak, the way they their morality, the way they carry themselves. The way they carry themselves. If, their if mannerisms the too, brother. Every time I've I've gone to uh any of my like 
mm-hmm. you know, girl, ex girlfriends or whatever, like their house. Brother, I walk in dress fitted as fuck, bro, looking sharp. I walk in and I'm just like, when I start, there's not, like, and then with the moms, you know, you gotta raise them up, bro. You gotta show, you gotta raise them up, <laughs> you gotta raise the mom up, bro. I see, fucking twirling the hair. <laughs> I, I see scenarios when girls like, and this just like. Not like experience, but just overall in life that I've seen certain moments where like they be bringing these bum ass kids, bro, and it's just like fucking Edgar looking, you know what I'm saying? And they fucking walk in like. So you wouldn't let your daughter. They just do that one. You wouldn't let your daughter date an Edgar. <sighs> not the not the not the stereotypical ones right now. I mean, I not the ones I've met. Yeah, not the ones I've met. Not yeah, the ones I've met. I mean, look here, sister. He's for the experience. That's all it is. My daughter, <laughs> my daughter walked in. Term. If my daughter walked in with a guy looking like Conchonis. I'd be happy. I'd be like, look at him. He's a sharp boy. He looks cute with his glasses. But then, <laughs> then, going the most one, crazy, but then once he talks to me, and if he's not, if he's talking to me like, oh, like, nah, I want him to be like, hey. What if he's shy, though? Confident. See, yeah. that's another thing, though. I feel like yeah. if, he, if you're shy, you're a bitch. Uh, uh, I, 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 mm, I, I, see, I see where you're coming from, but I me feel being like, the shy dude that I am, but it, I understand mm, where but the guy's coming from. There's a level what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say if you can't be confident with me. You no, can't yeah, be I'm not trying to say he needs to walk in and be like, "What's up, motherfucker?" You don't gotta be no Andrew Tate. Yeah, <laughs> but if he's walking in like, "All right, like, come on, bro, get a real man." Then you know what I'm saying? That's a boy. If that's what I'm trying to say. Hey, he, hey, he really I, puts his foot down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see where you're coming from. I don't know. I, 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 I agree. Not, yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, but I don't agree. I, I'm like 50-50. Yeah. I'm like 50-50. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is love. So, love to me, it depends on what age. Facts. If this motherfucker's like yeah. 25, but, but, I'm like, all right, dog. Like, come right. on, get yeah, the fuck but, up. But just yeah. that age Stop being a bitch. Too. Stop being a bitch. Uh, that age thing too. What at what age are you like? I you I'm not my, my, my our daughter, age. Our age. Yeah, I want to. My daughter better walk in with a man at that point, bro. If she walks in with a bum looking guy and he's all shy at our age at 21, bro. Yeah, that boy got to kick rocks. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what, bro? And even yeah, even me. even at that age question, bro. My daughter ain't bringing no boy until she's like 15. I would older, ask bro. him too. I would ask him like, how much convincing did you have to do to bring him in? Stuff like that too. What? I would ask him like, how much convincing did you have to do to like at a young to bring age, like to me it. to oh, me and my parents at, at a young age? I get it. Yeah. Everyone's going through different stuff and stages. Right. Minds are growing, but that's a key thing that you said right mm-hmm. there. Like, I feel like wanting to really. If I've always been a big believer, if you really like someone, mm-hmm. like you love someone, whatever. Not saying everyone's in the same scenario or like in life like that in the same mindset, but I feel like you going far and beyond to really stand out, mm-hmm. to show that you care, family, friends, etc. Like mm-hmm. that to me stands out. But if you're the type of partner that's like, I don't want to be near your family, that's a red flag to me. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? To me, because you're a family yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. That's a family guy. <laughs> it <Yeah>. seems today, <laughs> like, oh, you see. yeah. And, and the thing for me, I grew up with a different dynamic of. Not everything was about family. That's you know what I'm saying. What I mean? yeah. yeah, like yeah. I, I mean, I grew up with with uh, in a broken household. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. I only have my mom. You know, and my dad's fucking in Mexico, so you know what I mean. Twin. So I only I, like for us, we kind of we all do our own thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. So we're never now at this point we're never as like a family. So me being that family type and like he has to be a man. This and that is like dog. That's on you. But that's, I'm not saying So that. I get it. You yeah. would want the best for your daughter, but at the same time, motherfucker, I'm not going to go out scared. Like, mm. I'm not who's saying the best the, for my daughter. The, uh, the boy yeah, has right? to be a family oriented mm-hmm. guy, too. No, but, but you, you want a man, he, though. He, you want a man for your daughter. I think and also, everybody, everybody would want the best for the daughter. See, that's but I think, I think it also depends, too, how he treats your daughter. Because yeah. he could be shy with me and he could be all course, like nervous. He could be a really great guy. Yeah, he could be a really great guy. So that matters. I'm trying to, like, yeah, exactly. As long as. Look, my, at the end of the day, when I, my I'm a, daughter isn't fucking physically abused or yo, raped, yeah. brother, I don't care. What about emotionally care. abused? That, yeah, that too, obviously. Just like, abuse in any way. That's my perspective on like how like like uh, not a man, right? Uh-huh. But like at the end of the day, bro, like how someone should carry themselves to me. Someone, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, who would you say like what a man is? Like to be honest, you know what I'm saying like we're probably not mans yet. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. straight up, Sam, nah, dog. That's what I'm saying. So it's like not saying like. She, my daughter in the future needs to have a, a man, right? But what I'm just trying to say is that I hope at the end of the day she can date whoever mm-hmm. the fuck she wants because same thing that I said, what Kelsey said, they're not dating me, you know what I'm saying? But it's like if she's going to want to bring him to the house, mm-hmm. to f- bring him to house events and stuff, if she brings a dude and this was like the the one kid that's in the corner, bro, 
But to me, that's going to kind of suck. I'll be like, then you don't build a good relationship. That's what mm. I'm trying to get out of. That's what that I'm also depends on the family too, how open and how like, how They'll accepting understand. they are to him. And, exactly. and, that's, and, that. and that's a job as you, <laughs> as like your family then. Mm -hmm. If you want the boy to come in and be like, like, Given yeah. you gotta, you gotta yeah. it all depends on the dynamic of yeah. the household. Yeah, 100%. See, and this is this is my scenario with Kelsey's family. Mm. I, I never felt since day one welcomed at all. Yeah, I get you that. Know? Mm. So that's where it's kind of like, where do I so really then kind of like forces you to be like the corner kid? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I'm kind I'm I don't have a chance to even build a relationship at all, and yeah. in those scenarios, like. Like I was, I was, I was gonna lose it. That's what I'm saying. If, if it's it was, a loss, yeah. then it's a loss. Mm -hmm. you know and would saying? you act the, and would you feel the same way if it was like your son and you didn't fuck with like the girlfriend? What do you mean? Like as same like thing, like, didn't like, the like you didn't like the girlfriend, like your your son, like he brings a girl over uh, and she's a bum. Yeah, she's you, a can tell, you can tell she's a fucking slut. <laughs> <laughs> she for the streets, bro. She yeah. for the streets. I, or, I tell my son, hey, let me know when you hit, and then we can tell her that she can skip. <laughs> yeah, different dynamic for a girl and a boy, huh? <laughs> Hell yeah, okay. Yeah. So you let the guy you you you, you, you give him more oh, slack. We're not gonna fucking go into that conversation. Like we all know, bro. I, like. <laughs> Don't even fucking pee around the bush because your girl's here, bro. When you have a son, you're going to want that boy to get pussy, aren't you? Yes or no? Don't be a bitch now. No, 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 no. I, would, I wouldn't want that. him to get pussy, but I tell him just because. Yeah, put a rubber on. Put a Jimmy on. Yeah, I mean, brother, <laughs> Jimmy. Look, be careful where you put your dick at, brother. That's what I'm saying. Be careful. But I'm not going to go out. Yeah, fucking the dumper. No, no. But hold on. 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 Hold Obviously, I'm fucking joking. I'm like, oh yeah, fuckers. Uh, no, <laughs> that's why I'm like, look, brother. But hey, it just answer that question. Oh, no, like look. different dynamic. Like everybody fucking knows that, bro. If you're a man, that's just how it is. Don't fucking peer around the bush. Don't fucking peer around the bush. Now you know damn well that in the future, when you have kids or whatever, let's say you have a boy and a girl, uh -huh. you're gonna give the boy the freedom. You know that. It's just yeah. a sad fucking yeah, truth. The is. world that we live in. It's literally what it is because there's fucking bums and assholes out there that are evil men that would hurt Facts. a woman. Facts. So yeah. I'm going to let my my son be free and do whatever the fuck he wants as long as he's not killing people or raping people or whatever. Be safe, have fun, enjoy your night. But then when my daughter's like, yo, I want to go to the fucking, I don't know, this fucking club in fucking nowhere at midnight with three men that I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, honey, go, bro. Like, no, nah, come on, bro. Now my son's like, I got three bitches. I'm a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are they over age too, my man? You know what I'm saying? But it's just a sad world. So, the like. so it's not that me, like, <laughs> it's not me doing the, whatever it's called, double standards, weird uh -huh. shit, whatever. It's like, it's the sad world we live in. That's literally what it is. It's not because I want my son to have fun and my girl to uh, fucking live a shitty life. No. But it's because more than likely the girl is the one that's going to go through something bad if mm -hmm. she goes and explores the world like that. Now that she's going to do something bad, something bad's going to happen to her. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. So it's but me being protective of like trying to save her. Yeah, I'm still going to let her have fun, go to these parties and all, but if she's hitting me with like, yo, I'm going to go, you know what I'm saying? Like my example. Do her like, shit. I'm going to go do some hood shit at like 1 a.m. with two men that I don't know. I'm going to be like. Why does she have to, why can't she be with the girlies? Okay, but that's the example that I'm throwing. Or out what there. if she's like, "Yo, like I'm trying to kick it with the homies, you know, play some video games yeah, or whatever." Okay. Yeah, okay. In this, no, no, no. In no, this no, scenario no. that we were, uh -huh. our, it was me, you, and Trey and George. What the fuck? And no, hold on. <laughs> and and the we, we good. We, Trey homies. Trey homies. Trey yeah, homies. Yeah, yeah. we homies. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> but we're good. Yeah, but there's there in high school. Back uh -huh. in high school, okay. there was a girl that we would all yeah. kick it with. Uh huh. So you and now, that? yeah, no, and how would you feel as if being her dad? Yeah, as you her dad. I mean? So here's the thing, because we didn't really meet we her, no, yeah, and we yeah, weren't yeah. doing like we whole rash shit either. We were the just eating, or we going to the movies, and going to Six Flags Chili. We were just nice. doing like those high school fun activities, safe activities, when it was mainly guys, and there was like one girl in there. Yeah, right? exactly. I that. But that's what we saw. Yeah. The no. parents didn't get to see that. Yeah, of course. Unless so they were on snack. <laughs> they, they were like, what did Carlos post? <laughs> so in that scenario, you see, I'm I'm like 50-50 because it all comes down. I, I think personally in my end, we made a good impression with her family. If that makes sense, bro. Mm. We were in fucking cliff for saying hi. <laughs> we didn't we're, go out. And like, I was. I was. Hey, sir, I mean, no. Like, I mean, I would. I, I, I would agree. Maybe, maybe not you. Connection with the mom. That's yeah, yeah. I did have <laughs> try to raise her up, yeah, raise the mom. Raise her up. But maybe, maybe I don't so know. Because I of think, you, because of you, we didn't look like scumbags. No. <laughs> I would say that. I would say I that. Thought, I thought we. I don't know. Like, it's because we didn't give that vibe off. Like some of us did try harder than others to kind of like 
you like, know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if your scenarios, but like, without going too much details, but like, even one of her siblings used to always be with us. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, had, but the that, mom, that the mom, goes, the yeah, mom. but that goes to show that the parent didn't already trust us. So we already look like pieces of shit. Wait, right but why would they, if they didn't trust us, why would they, why would they the, the younger daughter? So you didn't do yeah. anything that no, you should be doing because the younger person. I was thought, see, I, but I mean, I looked at like, <laughs> if, <laughs> I thought it was just like, it was to keep like, eyes, to keep tabs. No, to, 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 she like go out there have fun too you know what I'm saying like I nah bro know. to me it's no, like if I'm already no. like kind of suspicious of the homies why would I send my youngest daughter with them as well something well, shouldn't happen at that time so then, yeah, exactly. when the younger person is yeah. there <sighs> yeah because so I, I, I could probably get uh-huh. sent out with my sister because they didn't trust be her cogla. And they Whoa, now you're yeah. just not. Yeah. Yeah, what it is, you know, yeah. she that, that's had what past is. experiences where they don't trust, you know, her. So they had to send me with her. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Oh, so see, I don't know. I'm like, as, oh, I'm like, no, I'm like 50-50, bro. I just, I, just yeah. I would, I would answer that argument or that question is just, it just comes down to the impression you left. My, in my opinion, I thought we made a good relationship because we were at mm-hmm. the house a lot. I don't know how about cheap, but like we. I think with the mom, I don't think I've interacted with the dad. But yeah, I was just thinking sure. about that because I saw her dad yeah. not that long ago. I mean, I was it's, like, not her, it's not her business yeah, like that, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, in that scenario, like if I have a daughter and then she has like four guy friends and that like they're always trying to like go out and all that, definitely I'd be, I'd be, uh, what is it called? Skeptical. So whatever. Skeptical. Skeptical. Skeptical at first where I'm just like, hold on. Skeptical. You know? But then it's like, like, because this is in the scenario where we were, it's like since the friends kept, kept coming over or they were around the area a lot, et cetera. And shit like that And like Cause keep in mind Like dog Like we'd hang out late sometimes Yeah You know what True. I mean And as a parent It's like brother It's fucking like Almost like 11 or 12 yeah. So you see it's like <laughs> you know I mean? It sucks to say But it's like It's just a sad Like where we live in Like I wouldn't agree yeah. with sending The younger child yeah. I don't I, I, I don't I don't agree at all bro I wouldn't either But Cause I'm telling Cause look There's this one I had a homie Right It's a homie and his brother And like this one girl They went out and the mom forced the youngest daughter to go out, right? So in this case, just you know, just play safe. So it's like, it was my homie and his girlfriend, and she sent the the girlfriend's mom sent the little sister to go with them. They yeah. went out, they did whatever. But when they were coming back to like to Dina, they like they got in a fight with someone and they started arguing and they got into a race and then like they started getting into like a like a chase. It was my homie and like some like randoms, yeah, fucking chasing each other and like really like getting in trouble and it was to the point mm. where like the cops got involved and everything and bro like the little sister was there oh they, you know and it's like be, i think because of that like that traumatized me so much that like shit really almost like it could have ended out really bad yeah but and the little sister just tag it was just to tag along yeah but just to be fair your friend wasn't that he wasn't no nah, no nah, right. he was i mean it he was, wasn't in the right yeah, yeah you know he, yeah, he, he was in the right yeah so, with anybody so, in the car for that yeah, matter so once whether again, it goes the girl was in there the type of people yeah. you're with yeah, yeah so, so that, I mean but he wasn't like a bad it just it was a bad scenario it was a bad situation he's not a bad dude he's pretty I mean, smart but just calorietas. you know but just in that situation it was just you know yeah it happened and that shit like fucking left me jump uh, I mean overall like I don't know I think everything in life is just situational and it's just scenarios yeah. you know what I'm saying like you there's, know and, and, and everything you're gonna do there's gonna be things that you can't control mm-hmm. as just simply as is and I that's think, where personally for me that yeah. decision's up to them. I'd show them how to make the right decision and mm-hmm. how to read a good decision versus a bad decision. But from there, I'm not going to make the decisions for mm-hmm. them. Why? Because they're their own person. Of course. So that that's why, like, in order for, like, how you said earlier, like, I'm going to put my foot down. You can't. To me personally, I would to a certain extent. Yeah, that's what you I'm trying to say. I mean? If I don't like I'm not going to control the life mm-hmm. of the kid and, like, not let them do shit. But I'm also, if they're un- if they're under 18 and they're living, quote, unquote, my roof in that scenario, oh, for sure. they gotta brother, like best believe the that I'm going to prevent it because then what happens? Boom, the girl's pregnant. And that's where I was raised differently on. That's your responsibility, not mine. Yeah, but then you got to think about, like, as a parent, bro, unless you're just cold-hearted and you, like, you kick them out and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? As a parent, most of the time you're like, all right, I'm going to have to now take care of a new responsibility with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I'm trying to say. So as the man of putting your foot down, I would try to help prevent that. Prevent all those, like, okay, those, those now what if your son falls into that that scenario? Like if he gets a girl pregnant, yeah, then I'm gonna tell him now you got to be a man. Uh-huh. Now you're gonna step up. You're gonna leave all your dreams away. Work a fucking 
9 to 12 type. I mean, 9, nine to 12. <laughs> <laughs> 9 to 12 midnight yeah. type of shit. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, that's different. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, in sure. that scenario, like, I'm, my son's going to stop being, like, a boy. He's going to be a uh, man. Yeah. So, same thing as those double standard shit. Like, it's going to become like that. Where yeah, it's like, now you're going to grow the fuck yeah. up. Yeah. Like, but as in, like, in that scenario, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. With a girl scenario, like, I'm going to try to help prevent that all the way. Even mm-hmm. as a son, like, I'll try to prevent it by letting him know what happens. But if he knows... He'll have it even harder because he, now it's your responsibility. Yeah. My daughter, I feel like as a parent, because I, like I said, I have a good heart. I'm not going to just kick her out the house and be like, go live with that bum because that dude's probably going to leave her. Mm. I'm going to yeah. have to be like, all right, well, now we have to take care of it. But you're definitely going to step up a I'm bit. But I'm not, but I'm not going to be like, like, like how I said about the summer. It's like, now you're going to work yeah. you know, 12 hour shifts and fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, you know, it's everything in life is fucking, it's a flip flip. Yeah. So I guess the son might have freedom, the daughter has it tougher, but then the consequences that his dumbass is gonna have it harder, mm, and mm-hmm. she might get it easier. Because just the way good I point, see it. Good point. Good point. If that makes sense, I don't know. You look lost. No, I know <laughs> what you mean. It kind of is like a like a yin yang type of situ- situation. Because he just, has life easy, but once he fucks up, it's like that's now, a big fuck. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, but me or the girl, like, she might you have, have it harder, it hard, but, but if she fucks up, then I'm gonna have to now. I'm gonna then, be there with you now, like yeah. in that sense. So it's like it's a win win for both and a lose lose for both, if that makes sense. Yeah, and I know what you mean. But yeah. like I said, at the end of the day, it's just it's a tough scenario, yeah. and Literally, we won't really know till we have. It's kids It's a too. tough world we live yeah. in where it's like those are the scenarios we have to like. Kind if of you're a parent, calm down. Coming down your I know. I feel like we're talking like we're fucking dumbasses. Like none of us are parents. That's what I'm saying. Like it'll be different. No, yeah, once we yeah, have yeah, kids of course. Like I'm sure, like George our, said, our, our opinions could change yeah. with anything. Your opinions could always change. Mm-hmm. So I mean, we'll just have this for the record. <laughs> <laughs> we can always go back. People could talk shit. Look yeah. back like 10, 15 years later and be like, "Oh, you fucking dumbass!" Yeah, or like, 10, hey, 10, 15 years smart later, as fuck, bro. Yeah, 10, 15 years later, I might not even be a Mandilon anymore. Who knows? <laughs> you know, I might tell Cussy, "Hey." Make me a sandwich. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who knows? Hey, things are you paying the change. bills, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did you do all day? What are you doing? Nah, nah, but uh, I mean, I definitely think we took a whole turn on these uh, on these scenarios. What happened to the mom? I know we for, we left all that shit. Let me ask yeah. you a question. Let me ask all one right, question. Right, go, go. Who comes first, <laughs> your wife or your mom? Uh, my ask, wife. Your wife. All right, wife. you're you're married at this point. Yeah, right? you're married. So wife. Ask, ask it one more time. Who comes first, your wife or your mom? Or your mom. As much as it's kind of weird, but at that point, if you're married, like there's a ring, my wife. Yeah, my yeah, wife. Yeah, why? For sure. If I'm not guys, mar- if you I'm guys not, are one yeah, now, if bro. I'm not, Yeah, exactly. If I'm not married and you're just my girlfriend, my mom. Mm-hmm. But if we are married, you're going to come first. Yeah, first for sure. Before anyone. And I've always looked at it like until that girl has a ring or she's the mother of your child. Yeah. Then, she, it's, it's, yeah. then she'll be your number one thing. But until then, she's... Second, my opinion, in, the back in my seat. opinion, never put a woman that's just, you know, all that and, and uh, as a priority over a lot of other things. Yeah. And that, but that's just yeah. a, a, a uh-huh. my th- way of thinking. Until she has a ring. No, me too. Or she's, she's a mother sure. or a child. She can't come first before other great things. Mm-hmm. But that's just the way I look at it. How about that's you? Good. What that's do you good. Say, what do you say your husband or your mom? You put know. Johnny boy over your Johnny papa. Johnny boy. Over your mom? Or my dad or my mom? Your mom. Oh, like, I mean. Put me over your dad. Put me over your dad. See. Or who are you picking? Me or your dad? You have to save one. Me or your dad. Yeah, in that sense, mm. it's mom. It's a son. And, and I'm not yeah. saving. I'm just picking. Oh, dumbass. Who am I? Choosing who are you one? saving? If you, the, <laughs> no. One of us is about one to One and one, bro. One answer. Yeah, gotta, yeah. No. You got to pick. That wasn't in there. All right. Wasn't who there. would you pick? I would pick you. I'd pick Jonathan. My My husband at that point. Because at the end of the day, my past relationship with my dad has very much affected my future, and already has. So I'm gonna pick my husband. Would you change the answer if it was your mom? No. Same thing. Same. I, I just okay, I just yeah. think for like 95 percent of people, it's gonna be that like once you guys are how you said it once you guys are mm. one, you guys are locked in. You know what I'm saying? You won. Like, you won. You guys are one, so they're gonna be your number one priority. Facts. And then like parents. Kids, all that becomes like a second. Would you let your your mom or your parent or your dad live with you guys once you guys are married? It just depends. <laughs> everyone, if you're, everyone's oh, nah. everyone's there is different. Oh, nah. like, this right, is yeah, these, that's what I say. I'm if, sending my mom's old ass to the fucking retirement home. Get your old ass away from here. 
I am 22 years old. <laughs> I'm still at my mama's house. No way I got married. But I mean, hopefully by that time, you know, I'm fucking successful. <laughs> and no way I'm bringing her old ass over here. I love my mom. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, brother, yeah, get away, get away. I, I want my I, privacy. I think it depends. It depends. I think Obviously, depends, in that right? scenario, he's... he's hey, all, right, all right, for you. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. Tampoco, kick him no. to the curb. I Retirement kick home. To the curb. I'll take but care of the Shout out Morningstar if he hears his you know? <laughs> I wouldn't kick them to the curb, but I would help them financially to find their own place. Because mm. me living with my parents now, I that privacy isn't there. Mm. I can't feel comfortable in my own home at certain points. So I definitely wouldn't feel want to feel comfortable in the house that I paid for or, you know, whatever the situation is. You know, my home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I'd mm-hmm. either help them financially to find their own place or help them in general to find their own place, you know? I'm sending my mom back to Mexico. <laughs> she said she always wanted that. Or I'm like, yeah, but true. My yeah, mom would true. like to go back I'll to her home country, to get, so to get back. If bro, they would want that, know? I'd help them, you know, find a place out there and help them financially when they yeah, need it. That's a good point. That's because a good point. they have always said they wanted to go back. So if they want to go back, go back. Start a beast, stop, baby. Yeah. yeah. At that point, nothing I can do. Later. Scared. Yeah, my mom always told me that she wants to, like, she wants to go back to Mexico. Yeah. She wants to retire out there or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, what the they ain't shit out there, bro. Yeah, that's what I tell yeah. my mom. I'm like, fool, they ain't shit out there. Hey, apparently, hey, apparently we got money out there, bro. At least they I can live. I got like live, four houses. At least they can live luxuriously <laughs> out facts, there. That is true. Because it's cheaper. That's equivalent to like a car note out here and shit. Like, yeah. Los terrenos, so dog. We bumming out here, but yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> y'all, 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 should, y'all should see my other house. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, fool, bring them over here. El terreno. Wow. El terreno, bro. That they're always fighting for. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, guys, so. You? Uh, I can say, I think it's, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's depends. Because. She's off the Zaza. She thinks she's living in, in that fucking <laughs> yeah, house. I, I, come to, I, I look at it different. I just look yeah. at it like, you know, at one point you're going to have a family. And I look at it from my experience, like, you know, yeah, yeah, Mama Rosa. Yeah. How big of a help they could be. Mama Rosa blesses my mom. Mm-hmm. Cooks. Yeah. Cleans, takes care of the kids because my mom's working literally all day. Yeah. So it's like I look at it that way. Like, what if me and my partner have that that life where it's like Dynamic. we're we're literally gone from nine a.m. till maybe like eight p.m. Mm-hmm. What the fuck are our kids gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get a, Especially when they're young. So it's like, too. Yeah. get a fucking babysitter, or nah. wouldn't it be grandma yeah. to be with them? I said it depends because it looks like that. Mm. And now it's like if my if we're gonna be at the house all day and then my mom just. It just comes down to how it is. And it also depends how your partner feels. What True. if my partner absolutely doesn't want to be with my mom? Then I have to understand that. Mm-hmm. But what if my partner loves my mom? And they're like fucking comadres. Yeah, like, <laughs> come, bro. Yeah, yeah like, if, if Kelsey, like, because Kelsey and my mom, they have a pretty good relationship. Ah. Hey, Danina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I wouldn't, if Kelsey was like, let's bring your mom on. I'd still be like, yo, nah. get that bum away from me. I like, see the closest yeah, you would be, right. like, I think kind of your situation where it's like, there's a back house and she can stay in the back house. Yeah, but there's still that, that yeah. like separation. separation. Yeah, I would still want that. I, I would do that for sure. Like have that yeah, like separation. Yeah, I mean, if they're like in financial trouble or, you know, any trouble at all and they mm-hmm. need to stay with me, I'm not going to say yeah. no. But obviously there's a certain point where, you know, you have to get up and get mm-hmm. going again. You can't just bum it off of me. Like, no offense. Yeah. You, even then, I wouldn't say like they have to be in, in financial hardship. Like just no, but taking I'm just care saying, of them. I'm just saying, like, I'll always take care of them mm-hmm. if they need it. But if they need it, like, for me to, for them mm-hmm. to stay at my house, like, obviously, I'm going to open yeah. the doors for them. But I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't want them living with me, you know? Yeah. Because they can also be successful, too. Yeah. yeah I, they yeah, their own one. Yeah. They, I'm ca- they have their own house. They don't need to stay with oh, me. God. Yeah. I'm sounding too harsh on that. I don't want my mom, you know, near me. No, but, you're, you're, like, you she got, you're not. like, she got cooties. But, I mean, again, I'd help her out, you know, if she could stay if, a week, a week, you know. <laughs> but after that, it's like look, that's like like three months. <laughs> Damn, that, that's too that's much. A lot, yeah, that's a lot. That's the that's where people get comfortable and lazy. You gotta give them a week, bro. A week. Nah, but uh, yeah, no, definitely. Time's ticking. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> I uh, I. Uh, what if yeah. my mom fucking croaks at my house, bro? Now I'm not gonna want to live there. I'm like, oh my god, this bitch died in my fucking house. <laughs> no. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. No, my mom's fuck? gonna fucking be pulling my fucking toes when I'm sleeping. I don't want that shit. I'm That's like, bro, you don't like, leave your toes out of the blanket. I, I don't do that to this day. I do that. Your feet need to breathe. Your feet do need to breathe. That's why you don't sleep with socks on. I leave my my foot hanging off the bed. I can't do that. I'm scared, of the, I'm scared of the kukui. <laughs> <laughs> El kukui. Yeah, but overall, my mom croaks in my house, bro. I can't have that. Yeah, buy like, house. Oh my buy God. God. Like, throw the whole shit away, bro. <laughs> I don't want this shit no more. 
<laughs> nah, yeah. So I mean, overall, we definitely took a very, very interesting. I I, I like turn. this uh, turn of how we went from like the mom stuff to then family stuff to then daughter stuff and. Sons. What do you think, Trey? Ah, Trey, I'm playing, I'm Love you, Trey. Side jokes, side jokes, side jokes, side jokes. Man, motherfucker, I'll text you right after this, dog. I'll tell you the joke I made, bitch. So it's definitely. I know how Bora Bora is, bro. An extended trip. He's in Japan. I got to see his snaps, bro. Motherfucker going on a world tour. We said I'm on a war tour, bro. So I can got the guy like that, guys, and sweet action do, and then you know what, guys. It was definitely an interesting episode. It was a very <laughs> fun one, very controversial. So please comment down below whether what you agree you with think, us, yeah. with your opinions, because we really like to see other perspectives. Like I said, guys, yeah. Yeah. we're young, we're idiots, but we don't our know shit. Can change. Yeah, our opinions can change. Speak this, for this, yourselves, this, assholes. This is what the show is all about, <laughs> just to wow. you know, give our thoughts and, and entertain people and just maybe have people think yeah. as well. So with that, I think, guys, John, it was definitely a funny one, but John, I think it's time we wrap up this episode, bro. Yeah, I think we definitely should. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys can hit up HR at Kelsey Santa Cruz. <laughs> yeah, I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, we'll you. have our HR department <laughs> link no. below. Yeah, yeah. She acted like her IG handle isn't down in the description. No, I thought that you were going to give true, my actual true. like Gmail. I was like, oh, the whole government. I think yeah. it's just that with at gmail.com, right? No, 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 no. There's some, there's some, there's some, there's some okay. other stuff. There's some other stuff. There's a number of ways. Um, <laughs> all right, anyways, Tilly's. Yeah. Oh, t- <laughs> no. No. We're leaving that shit in there. No, no, you said Tilly's? I was gonna say, was gonna say the, oh. sweet action, uh, the sweet action hotline. The sweet action hotline. That's oh. just coming up. 1 800 sweet action. 1 800 sweet action. We'll, sweet action. we'll have that shit ready. Yeah, yeah, we'll have that down there. Uh, yeah. If, if Cuz doesn't pick up, Key will, and he'll have a conversation. Yeah, and if Key doesn't, Xavier will. And if Xavier if there's doesn't, Trey will. I was hoping, like, who's going to say it? <laughs> I was, I was, I was, yeah. was going to say And if Trey knows, <laughs> God will. That's it. That's it. God will answer. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but again, if you guys have any. That should be your first. If you guys have any <laughs> comments, you guys can leave them down below. Share with your friends. Uh, let us know what would you guys do if your mom croaked at your house. Would you stay there or would you move the fuck out? Fact, sell that shit. I can't have my mama haunting me, especially after all the shit that I like fucking Jesus tell her. Christ. That's but true. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll hand it off to Kelsey. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Shout out to Lamani from last week. It was such a great episode. Gracias, we gracias, gracias. Appreciate you. She's very so, nice. So 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 much. Stay tuned for next week's episode. We'll have another guest on. So keep an eye out. So thank you guys so much for watching and we love you it all. Might be Conor McGregor. Bye. Adios. So what happens if I want to move in with you? I'll kick your ass out too. I'm what? like, get the fuck. Hey, when we got time to pop through. Nah, I'll give you a week too. Nah. No, no bro. I was looking at houses and I was like, oh, we need a guest room. And John's like, we don't need a fucking guest room. No one's staying with fuck? us. No. I, bought, I bought my own house. I don't want nobody staying. Y'all, y'all motherfuckers can have the couch. <laughs> <laughs> That's it.